In this episode, we visit the Ace High Station in Greece. We had a really long drive from Athens. It's uh, 2 a.m. right now, and we sleep another night in the car. Oh! So I woke up and I saw this beautiful sunrise. It's time to get out of the car. The good thing about not having a hotel is waking up with a view like this. Crazy. We had some rough days, everything is wet <laughs> and uh, all the drone batteries are empty and it was a really wild adventure. Oh, it's one big mess in the car as well. <laughs> Frederick's doing the laundry, <laughs> making sure everything gets uh, dry. Yeah. Oh my god, we don't even have a jacket anymore okay. and it's and pretty it's cold. cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of these trips again. Uh, oh, I, and my sleeping bag got lost <laughs> and we still don't know what happened. <laughs> uh, oh, this is a mess too. This is how a car looks like after a few days of exploring. Uh, <laughs> what <the fuck laughs> sucks. Huh? Uh, <laughs> <disgusting. laughs> uh. We are at one of the abandoned ACE high bases. ACE is standing for Allied Command Europe High Band. It was a NATO radio communication and early warning system that was operational between 1956 and 1995. There are 82 stations located in nine different NATO countries, from Norway down to Turkey. It was replaced by military network satellites and others. The 800 MHz band frequencies that was used by the ACE High became available for civilian use again in 1996. The type and beaming angle of the antennas depended on the local site position and its distance to the next relays. The construction of this location began in 1962 and was operational in 1965. You can find four billboard type troposcatter antennas here. In one of the first episodes we shot for this channel, we saw some dish type microwave antennas. The funny thing is, I did a similar one in uh, Italy. I think I recognize this. There are four huge generators standing here, providing the electricity for the whole base. But everything is stripped, everything is taken out. Sadly, everything has been removed. But to give you an idea how it looked like, we used some image we shot in another Ace High Base in Sardinia, which was still completely intact at the time we were there.
the whole site is divided in two parts. This is the radio station. And over there, you can see the base where they lift. And that like a basketball court to keep them fit. Some bullet holes in there, there. Oh yeah. Big ones. Yeah. My finger fits out. Uh, also here. <laughs> Practicing here, huh? <laughs> Maybe by the Russians. Yeah. Too bad this is all cleared out. Yeah, it's not too big, this location. <laughs> I think we're uh, done pretty fast here, but it's really cool. Oh, some of the pods broke. All right, let's find out how it looks like on the top. We both made it to the top alive. We have a beautiful view on the base here. You can see a part of the roof has been dismantled or stolen, I guess. This is the other station in Sardinia, seen from the top of a dish. As you can see, it looks pretty similar as the one we are now. In one of the next episodes we visit a really cool NATO command bunker, so be sure to subscribe. Though I think we're done here, we've seen it all, let's go to the other part. Easy entrance. Yes. <laughs> Hello. So this is the base itself where they used to live. It looks like um Call of Duty scene. Yeah, get out the guns. <laughs> I think it's just uh, an empty shell, but uh, we can check some buildings. What is that one? Looks maybe like a gym or something. What is this? What is this? <laughs> oh, that's news actually. From our radar base to Haystack. Uh, I think uh, we should uh, continue to the next spot instead of uh, filming a hay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go.
buildings are literally filled with hay. So yesterday we missed this view because uh, it was pitch black. We continue our road trip on to the next adventure.